Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is sixth video multi vendor e commerce website in Django with React JS. So as you know, we are making our API. So in this video, we will talk we will talk about the token authentication. So this is very important uh, uh, concept and uh, this is very important for our project, right? So first of all, uh, the Django REST framework comes with a browsable thing. You can just uh, you know enter this and uh, this will show the data right so this is by default nature of the django rest framework but when we connect with the react js we will call this via uh, you know via we will call this via ajax right so for this currently it is saying authentication credentials were not provided because we have added in our settings.py that uh, it should be authenticated whenever we generate any request we, uh, whenever we uh, want any data from the server then we need the authentication right so there are there are many ways to do this authentication the one way i have uh, added in the learning management system here i'm just logging from the react js uh, uh, via react js and save the username and password in the uh, save the username and password and status in the cookie in the browser so uh, it will not ask for ed, uh, every request uh, i'll just check every in, in the every request i check that uh, if uh, status is true uh, from the uh, from the local storage if status is true then uh, fetch the data right so this is one way that i have implemented in learning management system so uh, in this uh, multi vendor e commerce what i am going to uh, i am going to do i will make it more secure so on every request i will send a username and password right so with the help of jwt token json web token with the help of json web token what we will do we will send request right we will send request and uh, we will uh, we will send request so first of all we will, we need to understand the json web token right so what it is so it is stateless 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 means it is not save anything on the server right so uh, it will generate first first it will generate the token right according to the username and password it will generate the token then the token has some life right like 5 minutes 10 minutes okay whenever it uh, it uh, uh, whenever life uh, whenever token expired we generate we refresh our token we generate uh, uh, we generate another token right so there are two type of token in this access and refresh so we use access token for getting uh, for fetching our data and refresh token to you know if token expire then you we use refresh token to generate another access token after the expiry so this is the basic concept right so in this we will uh, we will try to you know understand that how it works right so first of all uh, if if we start this then we have to you know uh, pip install django rest framework simple jwt right so if we are using any cryptography we are not going to do this in this video okay maybe in future we will do something but uh, we need to focus on whatever we need so uh, pip install django rest framework uh, uh, simple jwt right and after that we will add this in a rest framework uh, you know here we have added uh, i have added this here let me show you here default authentication class rest framework simple, uh, simple jwt authentication jwt token authentication right and after that we have to add these two things in our path okay so here we have a url so this is project level url so from rest framework simple jwt i am fetching the jwt views okay so this is api token and this is api refresh token right so with this we will get the token according to the username and password right and with this we will f uh, if uh, access token expire then we will uh, fetch another access token with this uh, you know callback so these two callbacks okay so when we implement you will understand uh, better okay so the first request will be like this we will uh, request this http post currently we are just running our server but when we when we 
do via react js okay actually uh, when we do that uh, api then we will not uh, do according to the browser because in browser you can't send the post request you have to use some uh, third party things like uh, here the postman from the postman you can send the post request or you install any http you know client and you can do that so this is the http client i have installed http pi right so you i i will add the you know install command in the description so you can see that so after installing that uh, that is very simple command you know so sudo uh, because i'm using the linux operating system so i'm writing this command sudo uh, install uh, what is that uh, let me show you here we have so http 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 pi install linux right so installation http pi here here you are so what it is saying uh, python pip install http pi oh no this is not mm, linux yeah sudo install http pi right so after installing that you will just send this request whatever your username and password you will send this request okay so this will generate the token let me show you let me show you right so let me add this so currently it is not showing any data let me okay we will run this make sure your server is running right source env bin activate the virtual environment right here we are uh, cd backend api python 3 manage.py if you are beginner maybe this will uh, look like a very complex but if you do more and more practice this will become easy for you okay so just uh, just break down the uh, steps and focus on particular step then you will understand better okay so first of all uh, we will install this via this command sudo right uh, here we have a command sudo install or this is snap this is installing from the snap but you can install sudo install apt and uh, you can simply do that right here you can see uh, apt install http pi right so if you are super user then sudo apt install http pi okay after installing that you run this http post because we are posting the data this username and password so let me show you okay so this is api token because we have already added in our project level url right so this is we have added and we are fetching this as view from their uh, you know from their library okay so when you run this this will give you a two tokens access and refresh token okay so we will use this access token to fetch our data okay so let's let me show you so after that you need to you need to send this uh, where is that you need to send the second url is this you will send this uh, whatever you want whatever you uh, wherever you want to call your api wherever you call your uh, you want to fetch the data then you will send this you will send the authorization bearer and then the token name okay so what we will do we will copy this oh sorry i will copy this right and paste it here uh, yes the server make sure the server is running then it will work so when we enter it is saying token is not valid because token is expired right but we need to uh, generate the new token right oh i actually i'm not pasting the uh, this is the old token actually i need to paste the new one okay so this is our token paste here okay now I, I will request this copy and uh, paste it so here you can see that this is showing the data okay so this request analyze that yeah some uh, the username and password and uh, this is analyzing the data actually this token contains the username password okay in a different manner in an encrypted way right so yes so this is uh, sending us the data whatever the data i want to show okay this is defined in the serializer okay so this is the data 
and uh, if token is expired then you can use this refresh token you can use this let me show you you can use this refresh token to generate the another access token right like here refresh command and then refresh and then the refresh token so it will uh, it will generate the another token let me show you so i will copy this refresh token here copy right and paste it here paste here so let's copy this copy this and paste it here paste here okay so this will generate oh sorry actually we just need we don't need this double curly so this will generate the another access token so you can copy this access token and send the another request whatever you want from server okay so this is the uh, you know this is the way where we can get the data with the token authentication right so we use the http5 in the command line but we will use mostly we will use uh, the postman for you, you can use the postman for your api testing but we have a react js so we will send the request from react js okay and uh, with the token okay with the token and uh, we will get the data so this is uh, this is the basic the, these are the basic things that we need because uh, we will do a uh, lot of the things post data update data delete data so every time we need to send the authentication that some authorized user is uh, you know requesting the uh, things so that we need this uh, things okay so if you refresh this it will show you authentication credentials were, were not provided okay so let me log in this okay when we use the react js then we will use this token but now you are uh, sure that how we are using this so it is not uh, authenticating because we have defined the authentication the authentication should be uh, jwt right so let me i am going to comment this okay because we need lot of things so i am just going to use the browsable api for our testing purpose okay later when we when we start the react js then we will uncomment our, uh, our token authentication and we will use that right so i hope you understand all the things if you have any doubt any query then please add in the comment section this is a small video because uh, i just want to explain the way uh, I, I just want to explain the way but for you it may be take uh, a lot of time to understand to make more practice to understand the jwt to understand the how http pi work to understand uh, how the uh, http what are the http requests okay so i'll suggest you please uh, go you know uh, go step by step and uh, clear your conceptual knowledge may improve your conceptual knowledge so that you will understand better and uh, this will uh, this will become the strong foundation for your uh, uh, for your uh, future uh, programming uh, programming you know so yes i just want to you know explain you that how this jwt token works and uh, i think i have explained so if you have any query any doubt then please add in the comment section and let uh, next we will uh, go through our another apis like products orders and all the things and uh, we will see that how we can uh, implement okay so thank you so much for watching this video okay so please uh, subscribe this channel like this video and one more thing i have a website projectplaza.com where i am uh, where from this website you can download the projects okay you can download the various uh, different uh, different projects from the for, for django for laravel for coding nighter even flask also and uh, you can also become vendor for this uh, website so you can also sell your projects okay so thank you so much for watching this video please share support subscribe okay whatever you can do thank you thank you so much